In this episode, Frankie's PC will be moving house. Hi, welcome to the Mammoth Tech Show. I'm Jeff, and this is Frankie's old PC. And it wants to move house because Frankie wants it to move from where it is on the floor, which is a bit inconvenient, to inside one of the little cubby holes of a IKEA Kallax shelf. So we've got this new case here, the Silverstone SG11, which should fit very nicely. So what will we be doing? Well, we'll be taking all the internals from here and popping them in here. Both of these cases are micro ATX, slightly different form factor. This is your classic mid tower and it has the motherboard running vertically along the edge of the machine on this one the motherboard will be along the bottom and this one will actually be a bit easier to get to which you'll see later so let's get on with getting everything out of here so let's start by taking the sides of the old case and the most important thing we need to do first is take a thorough look around the inside of this thing. We'll be removing everything from this old case, so we need to know where everything connects onto the motherboard. Power, data, front panel connectors, we need to know where it all plugs in. And the best way of going about this is taking photographs. Take a picture of every connection onto the motherboard and we might stand a chance of being able to reassemble this thing at the end of this process. This rear fan looks a little undersized here, but it might turn out useful so we'll have it out. Scanning along the edge of the motherboard reveals the location of these important connections. It also reveals how awkward this type of case can be to work with, with some of the edges of the motherboard butting directly up against the metal wall of the case, meaning access to these connections can be a little awkward. So that's the rear fan free, and with the graphics card and Wi-Fi cards removed, we have a bit of a clearer look at what we're dealing with. Here are the front I.O. connectors, the smallest and fiddliest things we'll have to deal with. These connectors are hardwired to the case, so they will be different with the new case. This may mean they're configured slightly differently, such as two single pins rather than one double pin. Don't worry, just make careful notes and you'll be fine. So with everything out of the old case, let's take a look at the new case, which arrives nice and safely packed. So no dents or dings to deal with, which is good. The SG11 is a nice looking and understated case. So no RGB here. It's all about the practicality. It has nice shiny feet and lots and lots of holes for air to flow in and cool your PC. The top and sides of the case come off as one unit revealing where the motherboard will sit at the bottom of the case and also the excellent access we'll have to it when we put the PC back together. The SG11 has this metal drive cage towards the front, complete with a rather puzzling fan attached to it. Who needs their hard drives cooled? Anyway, to create some extra space I removed it and its rather unnecessary fan. The SSD can be positioned here at the top. This is the front panel USB 3 connector, which presents us with a problem, as this motherboard doesn't support USB 3. Luckily, USB 3 to USB 2 converters are available. Just connect it to the front USB connector and all should be well. Well, except for the additional rather unsightly cable clutter it'll create. Snap the rear I.O. plate into the new case and it will provide an excellent guide for correctly seating the motherboard in the new case. These screw points are where the motherboard secures to the case, using the little hollow threaded legs known as standoffs. 
and sometimes those standoffs aren't the same size. If you're using these screws from the old case and they're not locating correctly into the new case, then it could be that they're the wrong size. Don't worry, the new case should have the correct screws included with it. And here we have our motherboard located in its new home. Look at all the space we've got, so much access. And speaking of space, the SG-1 has space for an optical drive. Seeing as one of the main uses for a case this size and shape would be a home theater PC, that's a useful feature. In goes the power supply. So now we can start reconnecting cables. And at this point, those photos or notes that you made earlier come in really handy. And now we have all those cables in place. And yes, that USB free cable is rather large and bulky. But never mind, it works. And once the case is in place, it won't be seen. So it's not really a problem. And this isn't a fancy RGB gaming rig. So now let's get a couple of those back plates removed so we can install the Wi Fi card and the graphics card. Conveniently, that undersized fan found in the old case fits perfectly into the mounting point found in the metal support at the top of the case. But do make sure you replace this cover here as those two screws also secure that support that we've just put the fan in, in place. So, as promised, our impressions of the case. Well, it's very nice, and oh, hello, Zeus. You want to join in? Hello, hello. Oh boy. Anyway, the case. Don't distract anymore. The case is very nice. It's sturdy. It looks nice, and it's really easy to work in this form factor where you can just get at the board from all sides. Normally with a case you're fitting it onto the side and of course you've got the metal top and bottom so when you put it laid down there you're basically assembling it in the bottom of a bucket really and you can't get often to the sides of the motherboard and that can be a problem but of course with this one top and sides come off much better, much easier access. And yeah, it was really a pleasure to work in. And even if it wasn't dictated by wanting to put it in the Calyx unit, this is a, it's a, it's a nice case. Definitely be a good one if you wanted like a home theatre PC setup, something like that, or just a nice, easy to use case. Zeus seems to like it, don't you? Yes. Changing the case for your PC may seem like an odd upgrade choice, but in these times when it's not always possible to get the graphics card or CPU upgrade you wanted, and you want to just do something to change your rig up a bit, then maybe a new case is a good idea. But the most important question is the client pleased? Well, let's find out. So thank you very much to Jeff for building my new PC. Um, I actually really like the form factor of this box. It fits perfectly into one of the little cubby holes of my desk, um, which is the IKEA Calyx unit. It looks really nice. It's just in a really classy, black and silver case um, and the cable management is really neat as well so I don't have cables dangling all over the floor. Everything that was in my old PC fits into the new one so I've still got my Bluetooth adapter, um, I've still got my Wi-Fi card. I didn't have any problems when I first switched it on, everything that was on my old PC was still there so we, we didn't lose anything from the transfer. Um, so yeah, overall, I'm really pleased with it. So have any of you built any PCs in small form factor cases that 
to make your desk look desk area look a lot tidier if so please put some comments below we'd love to have a look at your desk areas and try and get some inspira inspiration um, if you've liked this video please give us a thumbs up um, please subscribe press the bell for notifications of when we have some more videos going live um, this has been the mammoth tech show thank you very much for watching Oh.